Good afternoon, D&D, TikTok, and beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. Today, I'm going to be using these blue liquid core dice that were sent in by a viewer. Thanks. Let's get things started with our roll for bread. One, freezer ends. Today, I'll be making a little more room in my freezer by using up some of this cinnamon bread. Got a couple slices toasted up and ready to go. We'll see what kind of sandwich they make. Next up, let's roll for main. Nine, capicola. Capicola is a dry cured Italian pork cold cut. There are several different varieties, including spicy and sweet capicola. Today, I'll be using the sweet variety. And if you ever watched The Sopranos and wondered what gabagool is, well, that's just a New York Italian American way of pronouncing capicola. Next up, let's roll cheese. Five, damn. Pretty sure that's the like fourth or fifth episode in a row now of using a cheese in some sort of red wax. Not that I'm complaining, this mild and nutty cheese will be a great contrast to the capicola, and I think both should go pretty well with the cinnamon bread. All right, next up, let's roll roughage. Double 11s, no roughage. The rare double 11 roll today, so we'll be moving straight to wild magic. All right, let's roll our wild magic. 17. There's this sauce that I love called almond crunch sauce. The listing here says it's roasted, crunchy, nutty, sweet, flavorful, savory, good on anything. It's 17, good on 17 anything. or higher for that. That sounds amazing. Yeah. I was definitely intrigued when I heard them talking about this sauce. I got my hands on some and it's very interesting. There's large chunks of almonds in oil with sesame seeds, garlic, onion, and herbs and spices. I love almonds, peanuts, pretty much anything that brings that crunchy element to something. I think this is gonna be pretty spectacular. All right, and last but not least, it's the D20 sauce roll, here we go. 18, Kewpie Mayo. All right, so our Japanese mayo will bring a little bit more savory and some creaminess and should play well with all the other flavors. I think skipping roughage today was a stroke of luck. Sometimes less is more. And I'm interested to see just how these five ingredients play together. Let's get our sandwich put together here. Get our toothpicks in to hold it together. And let's get it cut in half. And let's take a look at that cross section. All right. It's been quite a week full of highs and lows. Hopefully this is another high. Let's give it a taste. That is pretty good. That almond crunch sauce gives a really nice savory punch. It plays really well with the sweet capicola and the cinnamon bread. Then we've got that nice mellow cheese in there, the mayo. This sandwich is a vibe. After Wednesday, I was worried that it was just gonna keep getting worse, but we seem to have bounced back. Unexpected, but I think I'm gonna have to give this one a 10 as well. And I'm gonna call it the Crunch Squad. Thanks for hanging out, y'all. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time.